Hi, sweet friends, and welcome back. Today, I'm sitting down with you, and I'll be sharing my final Christmas 2023 decor haul. Well, I hope so. <laughs> now, I had all intentions of kicking off my Christmas decorating series today, but I'm feeling a little under the weather. You might notice my voice is a little bit raspy. I have a little bit of a sore throat, a cough, and it's moving to my nose, so a little congestion. My daughter actually had this last week and she was super sick. She had to miss all of last week in school. So I'm actually on day three or four. My symptoms are way less than hers. I am actually feeling better, but I didn't wanna kick off my Christmas decorating series under the weather. So hopefully later on this week, we will kick off our series with lots of Christmas decorating. So today, what I thought I would do is share with you some of the items that I have actually ordered online or that I've just picked up and haven't gotten to share with you already. So I hope that you still enjoy spending your day with me and our time together. If you are new, my name is Amy and welcome. Here on my channel, as I mentioned, I do a decorating series where I take you from space to space or room to room as I decorate for that season. And so Christmas, I absolutely love it and I just go all out. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I would love to have you back. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join me as we decorate our home this year for Christmas. Also, I have lots of Christmas shop with me's already down in the description box. So you could go and check those out as well. So if you do enjoy today's video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. I do hope you enjoy. The decor items that I'll be sharing with you today come from various stores. So I've shopped online at Kirkland's, Amazon, and Joann's, as well as Michael's and TJ Maxx. And I think that is it. If there's any more, I will definitely tell you, but I'll try to keep it grouped into the specific store and I'll try to, my best to share with you the price when I can. So today I'll start off with Amazon. I love shopping Amazon with their quick delivery in a couple of days from Prime and just the ease of shopping. So the first thing that I picked up was some velvet ribbon. I think this is super, super pretty and will be really versatile in my decorating. I'll probably use this to tie bows and garlands. You can use this to tie bows anywhere, really, to just make everything coordinate and look really nice together. I did do, choose two different types. This one is taupe, and it's a 5 eighths of an inch, and it was 25 yards. It was a really good price. I hope that it's still in stock, and I will go ahead and link that down below. And then this one is called Vintage Khaki but I love that color and I think that will look really nice with all the neutrals that I'm going with. And then I'll go in with a pop of red with some berries. So that's my vision for this year. But I love this one. This one's an inch if I didn't mention that. And it again came from Amazon. Next up is these beautiful placemats. I have one out here. It's in a beautiful, just green color. I love it. It's kind of cottony with like a really ribbed texture. I think these will look really great on our kitchen table. And so they did come as a set of four and they're from the Design Imports and they are 100% cotton. All right, so the last thing from Amazon are not really Christmas specific, but I'm going to be using them this Christmas is these salt and pepper grinders. I thought they were really pretty. I love the wood texture, bringing in a little bit more of that brown into our kitchen. Now our kitchen countertops are very dark, but I'm planning on putting this on a Lazy Susan that has like a marble light top. And so this will really pop off of it. And so I just loved these. I thought they were really nice detail. The only thing that I didn't love was 
that the tops are silver. And so all of my decor is either like a copper or an antique gold. So I thought about using some of that rub and buff on the top to maybe change the color. You'll have to let me know if you think that would work or do you think that it would just rub off and eventually look kind of nasty? You'll have to let me know. I would love to get your input on that before I try it. But I love that it just has the little simple P and the S for the salt. And I think these will be something that I can use all season long and any season really. All right, so moving on to Michael's. Michael's decor now is 50% off. So I really wanted to get these. And they are the viral ornaments that kind of look like velvet or that are flocked. Now, Hobby Lobby has a version of these, but as soon as they hit our shelves, I guess they were gone because I never seen them in store. <laughs> so these, I love the color. I've never seen them in red except for at Michael's. They were $9.99 originally, but again, they are 50% off now. And I love a gold top. So I thought these were a great find and I was excited that our store still had them. Also for Michaels, I picked up this bowl filler. Now it is in the scent Farm Fresh Fur. So it's a very light pine scent. I absolutely thought this was gorgeous. It has like a dried orange, has pine. It even has like a stick of cinnamon it looks like in it. These gold bowls here. And even see like a little green bulb in there as well and pine cones. I even see like a little nut or acorn in there. This is just super, super cute. It was, let's see, $21.99. Again, 50% off. Also at Michael's, I picked up this lantern. I absolutely love it. If you remember, I placed some lanterns on our kitchen table during the fall, and I'm kind of thinking about doing the same thing for Christmas. I just loved that glow on our table. I think I put a flameless flickering candle inside, but I just love the detail of the tree. This isn't pure white. It's kind of a creamy white, which is what I absolutely love. And so all this detail will really illuminate and cast out the light. I could even put a flower arrangement in this as well. So we'll see, but I absolutely love this. And it has just a simple little black handle on the top. Now I believe this was after the discount, $17.99. All right, and so also for Michael's are these trees that I have set back here. I think these are gorgeous. The larger one is $21.99 originally. I love that it has just a little bit of glistening snow with some berries on it. And I love the little finial on top and the base that has that gold. I think that is gorgeous. And it just goes with everything that I have in my mind that I want in our kitchen. So I got just a large, and a small one. The small one was $16.99. Okay, so I think that is everything from Michael's. So let's go ahead and move on to some things that I ordered online and picked up in Joanne Joann's. Now I wanted so badly to get in there and do a shop with me, but our store was way behind on getting the things on the shelves. Now, if you would like me to go and do a shop with me, uh, like later in the season, I would definitely love to do that. I love going in there and looking at all their beautiful items. But when I was in there, they did have a small tree collar that I want for our kitchen tree. And so I love that it is kind of like a plasticky feel. So it's not going to like tear up and dry and maybe even get ruined. I like that it does come apart and you can stack it like this because some of them are round and it's hard to store. Now everything at Joann's is 50% off. And so this was 60. So I got it for 30. That's about what they run, what I have been seeing. So I went with a dark base because I am trying to pull in some more of that dark brown throughout my decor. But this is the first thing that I got at Joann's. The second thing that I got now that I ordered this online is this adorable little Believe, like it's a ceramic little tile. If you remember, I got one very similar 
in a maple leaf in the fall time. And so I was thinking it was going to be a little bit larger. I didn't pay attention to the sizing, which I should have, but I still think it is super cute. I think I will probably hang it on some hooks. It would even be a great Christmas ornament. It's not too, too heavy. It wouldn't bring down your branch. And let's see, it was $19.99, again, 50% off. But I just like the little detail in the tree and just the word believe. And then the final thing from Joann's that I did order was these mugs. How adorable are these? Now, the Hearth and Hand line has a similar one, but it doesn't say Mary <laughs> in the inside. And so, when I saw these, I actually like the tree a little bit better. I think it shows up better than the ones at Hearth and Hand. But I love these. I took the price off. I think they were $7.99. But I'm super excited to display these over on our coffee bar. But I love the little Mary. Again, the tree. Just look how it stands out. It's very neutral, so you can definitely change your decor around these mugs from year to year and then it just has like a simple banding around the edge now it doesn't have anything on the back since it does have mary here i don't think they they put anything on the back usually joanne's mugs you can do it's kind of reversible or on both sides but this one doesn't so i just wanted to point that out but i love the size and just the the coloring and detail on the mug. Okay, next up, I don't think I even mentioned Walmart, but I did stop into Walmart and I picked up this wreath. It's very, very realistic. $27.84. I think this is one of the best wreaths out there that looks super realistic. It has pine cones. It did have a red velvet ribbon, which I already removed. I didn't like it. And so I can definitely use some of the ribbon that I showed earlier to make a bow. I could add my own red berries if I want. But again, it has kind of two different type of pines. It has this more drapey kind of pine as well as this more stiff version. I just love it. And for the price, I think it is really, really great. I almost forgot to mention here is a pillow cover. Now I've already put a pillow inside of it, but I got this from Amazon. It is so, so cozy. I love it. It's that teddy bear, kind of like boucle feeling. Super, super cozy. I think Target had like a version of this, but it was a lot more expensive and I actually wanted it to be a little bit smaller. So I believe this is a 18 by 18 size. So I have a 20 by 20 insert to make it nice and cozy and fluffy. But it is such great quality. It comes in a pack of two. It does zip off and you can't even see the zipper. It kind of has this little flap. So, so nice. So I went ahead and got two packages of these. So four in total. So I'm excited to use these and just cozy up on our couch sometime during this Christmas. So I'm excited to get these in place. So as we're talking about pillows, I did pick up a couple from Target. I ordered these and did a pickup from the store and I went with this one here. I think it is so, so pretty. It has like a leather piece for the zipper. It does zip off. So I like that, that I can replace it with a pillow cover that may be a little bit more substantial. And for storage, I can kind of discard the insert and use what I have so that I'm not always storing big, big pillows. And this one, I believe, let me unzip because I think the price is in the inside, was $25. And so I only picked up one. I'm just wanting to add just a few like accent pillows to what I already have. And so I love the green plaid and it also has just that little bit of tan like the pillow here. So if you see, they kind of coordinate. And then also coordinating is this cute little pillow. How adorable, again from Target. Now this one was, I believe a little bit less at 20. It isn't a pillow cover. 
So I was a little bit disappointed. Now you could definitely rip out the seam and place your own zipper. So that's always an option. But I absolutely love just that little pine cone detail with just a little bit of green here. And I think that will really coordinate with the other two. So just an accent pillow to bring it all together. And the final thing from Target was from the Target Dollar Spot. And it's this cute little sleeps until Christmas countdown. I thought this was super cute. And in our kitchen, I'm really wanting that Christmas tree farm natural look. And I thought this would be perfect. Now it is actually a hanging piece. I'm not sure if I will use it on the wall or just use it as a layering piece. And then as you see, it does have like a little snowflake and then you can count down. So I guess it's magnetized and you can just move it along the tree surface. All right, and so the last two items are my splurge items from Kirkland's. I've been saving up for these. Let me grab the smallest one. Okay, so the smallest little canister from Kirkland's, I did get three. I think this one is a seven inch, and then I got the eight inch, and then the 10 inch. But how cute are these? I think these are gonna be so adorable on our counters in a kitchen. I think I'll fill them with maybe the smaller one, do the little Debbie Christmas trees as treats. Oh, they're so good. And then I think I'll put my flour and sugar in the other ones. But I think this is something that is neutral enough that I can change the theme of my kitchen and it will still be timeless. But I just love these. When they come off, they do have a seal a pretty nice seal and it is a circle. So sometimes when you put it on, it can look a little wonky, but you just have to even it up so that the roof is on there straight because it's a circle. But I absolutely love them. I think they're so, so cute. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of all three, but I think they're gonna be a piece that I am super excited to bring out each and every year. And the last item that is a splurge, something that I saved up, four is this beautiful painting. Now I cannot bring it into the frame. It is too big. And so I cannot wait to show you where this is going to go. I love that it is neutral. It has such a sparkly appearance to it, but then it's subtle enough that it is calming. And so it'll go with all my neutrals and I can punch it up with my berries with, with the red. Oh my gosh, I am so happy that I went ahead and just went for it. And and it's one of the pieces that I think I'll have in many, many years to come. And you know how I love to switch around my decor. So who knows where it will be next year, but I know I will be bringing it out each and every year. But I love, love this piece. All right, and so the last two items are not really decor pieces, but I think they are special little pieces that I'll be adding to our hot cocoa bar. And so the first are these adorable little snowy vanilla marshmallows from TJ Maxx. Both of these items are. This was $5.99, but just look how cute. It's another snowflake. So I think that just goes along with the whole theme and just adds a little something, a little bit special for our cocoa bar. And so the last item also for the coffee bar or cocoa station is these little spoons. It says that it is caramel flavored milk chocolate with marshmallows, but they're kind of like on a little spoon. I thought that would be really pretty to display and just be, again, something a little extra special for our cocoa bar. And these were $7.99. All right, well, that wraps up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me today. And I hope that I'll be well enough and have lots of energy come a little later in the week to start my Christmas decorating series. It's one of my favorites. I just love going all out and really just celebrating Jesus's birth. It is just a special, special time. And I just can't wait to share it with you. Now, as we end our time together, you know how I love to go to God's Word. And so today's Bible verse is a special one for any of us who are struggling with maybe an illness, a sickness, something that we just need prayer for. 
And so today's Bible verse comes from Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you for your support and your sweet comments. And I hope to see you back next time, like I said, as we kick off our Christmas decorating series. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, I will see you real soon in my next one. Take care and God bless friends. Bye.